hey what's up youtube welcome to my channel it's mr uncle here and in today's tutorial um we are doing it's going to be in two parts we are going to do the capture one version and later on move into photoshop yeah so i'll quickly walk you through how i color graded these images these images from this to this so there are some images here which i color graded for scratch to here so these are the images i actually um edited in capture one yeah okay i've been getting so many questions about how i color graded these images when i posted the behind the scenes on the channel so if you haven't watched the behind the scenes i'll leave the i'll leave the card right above so that you go check it out yeah so quickly let's get started with today's tutorial and learn a thing or two all right so first and foremost what i'll do is to is to reset all my images so that we start from scratch so right now i have all my images resetted to how or shot straight out of camera i'm actually torn between which one to use for this tutorial and i think i'll go for this one i like the foreground in the picture so i'll go for this one yeah so just as we always do it in capture one i mostly create layers for my color grading or for my color correction so i'll create new field adjustment layer this way and we start off by color correcting the image as it was shot even if you look at the histogram it's a slightly underexposed so you can add a bit of um exposure to your image to lift it up a bit so what i'll do is to open up my shadow slightly to somewhere plus eight is okay and i'll add a bit of brightness to it that's plus five and looking at how the image is um, and looking at how the image is right now i would want to add some saturation to it because um if i give it a vibrant look it's going to make it look very nice and appealing to the eye so plus 10 is fine so we can see how far we've gone with our color correction so that was the before and that's the after one more thing i would want to add contrast to it so a contrast of plus five is fine yeah, so gradually gradually i'm making progress with it um yeah so the very next thing i'll be doing is i'll move into my color editor tab which is this one and inside the color editor tab as i always see in my previous um capture one tutorial as as a, as a photographer as a photographer on an editor all you should do is to treat your images as problems that you are trying to solve so with this image i want my rays to stand out and i would also want my greens to be a bit muted and my skin tone to also pop so what i'll do to the images um since we have some elements of since we have some elements of red in my shot i'll come into the red tab and inside the red tab i'll bump up the saturation a bit to plus 10 and also decrease the luminance or the lightness boom so we see what we have so that's it before adding those slight touches to my rates before and after before and after before and after so as you can see it's affecting all the red areas on the shot from the outfit the link saying she was giving a red lip gloss yeah so the next thing i'll do is to move into my oranges to target my orange slide it down and see where your oranges have been affected 
Yeah, so what I'll do in the oranges is to add saturation to my skin to give it a pop and also dial down my lightness to give it some sort of richness to my skin. I'll add saturation of plus eight is fine and the lightness I'll decrease down to minus 10. Uh, let me get it around minus eight. Minus eight is cool. Then decrease the saturation a bit. I don't want it to be so much punchy. So plus five is okay. So here is where we started from. And here's where we are now. Yeah. And the next thing is to move into the next um, color tab, which is the yellows. And as you can see, mine should actually have elements of yellows in there. So always slide down your saturation to see where it's been affected. Then you do the need for. So what I'll do to my yellows is I would want to remove some yellows from this shot, so I'll decrease it to minus 10. Slight adjustments, make so much says. So, yeah. And quickly into my grease. So, inside my grease, I will just touch my hue slider and also decrease the saturation to minus, minus 5. It's fine and the lightness to minus 30 since i wanted my subject to stand out so just as you can see here's where we started from and here's where we are now where we started from and where we are now uh, inside the other tabs which is the aquas and the blues there's there are no elements of aquas in there once you desaturate you don't really see any significant changes right there and the blues as well same applies to the blues and the other color tabs too. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the way Capture One actually targets colors. Yeah, color science is really dope. And I would recommend Capture One to each and everyone watching this tutorial to try it out. If it works out with your workflow, then you switch. <laughs> before and after. Before and after so this this tutorial is actually to make color grading so simple for you and and i'm sure with the process that we've been through so far you would know your way around color grading images to suit your own style yeah so yeah that's the before and after of the whole thing how everything went by yeah so what one thing i'll do is i would want to add a bit of clarity to my image somewhere around plus five is fine to give it that punch and i'm good to go to go and um further process it in photoshop so what i'll do right now is to apply the adjustment to the other shots so i'll copy it this way and apply it to my wow apply it to this one it's really nice so my model for the shoot was lily and the makeup was done by Siska Mikovets. You can check it out on Instagram. On set was Bla Penny, um, Tipolo, the Goose Director. And I also had Daniel around to assist me on the set. I really enjoyed this shoot and there is more to come, guys. So I'll add the adjustment to this one. And boom, yeah, it's what we have it now. And to this. Wow. And also to this. Ooh, I really like the outcome so much. How my subject is being separated from the background. Earlier on, you could see that the warm tones behind was actually competing with my subject. But once I did some tweaks to my settings, it actually made everything work out. Apply it to this one too. Wow. So guys, if you find this video useful and informative, you can give us like for the video to be recommended to other creatives who are also interested in such content and if this is your first time also chance to know my content you can subscribe and also leave a comment as to questions or whatever submission you have to help make the community better i'll add it to this one too wow all the images are really looking nice and awesome and to the last one yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's where we started from. 
and here is where we are now where we started from and here is where we are so guys don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and also um, i'll be starting my retouching class one-on-one class could be virtual in person if you want to take your retouching and your color grading uh, skill to the next level you can hit me up on instagram at anchor studios underscore and you can also send me an email at anchorstudiosinfo at gmail.com and i'll be so much more than happy to respond to you all so guys this is a short tutorial for today don't forget to like comment and share and also subscribe so the part two will be in photoshop where i take you through how i retouch the image and guys on to the next charlie we will talk charlie peace